Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about some changes in the new Voodoo version which is version 18. So I am gonna start with the inventory module and specifically in the inventory module well once we open inventory module this is Udo 18 as you can see that we have a new uh, view for the inventory we have a new graphs these graphs were not there in Udo 17 and uh, if I go to the products now as you can see in the product type there is no drop down instead we have three options goods service and combo so goods are equal to the storable products which we had previously in Odoo 17 let me open version 17 also yeah this is version 17 and here as you can see that we had these all type of products so now in Odoo 18 they have converted these types into these three selections first one is goods which is equal to the storable then the service and lastly the combo so these are the products for which we don't want to track the inventory and there are some other changes also on the form view like you can see here in the sales price now we have the sales tax here uh, the unit of measure here in the, previously in the product view we had the unit of measure here next the for the purchase unit of measure it is now shifted to the purchase tab and for the service as you can see that we have something called plan services if I click this checkbox and add a job position for example a consultant And let's just create a product and I'll just save it and let's go to the sales and try to make a sale for this product just add a customer and I'm gonna add the product add some unit price and confirm and once it's confirmed you can see that we can see the planned hours here which is equal to the quantity so these are the hours which are automatically scheduled so the shifts are automatically created for the consultant job position which we had given in the product configuration so this is also a cool feature next we have some rename checkboxes here like sales purchase before we had can be sold can be purchased can be expensed and we have point of sale to make this product available in point of sale also so instead of having different product types we just have three generic product types goods services and combo and once I click a combo product or let's just go and create a new product of type combo or let me just open the one which is already there for example this burger uh, it's not the combo let's create uh, yeah this one so there are combo choices and if we select the combo and once we make a sale of this product, so let's go to the quotation and create a new quotation for this product. Yeah. So once we make the sale for that combo product, it will show the choices here that we can select and confirm. and then we are ready to go to make it a confirmed order so these are the main changes that i have observed in the version 18 some renaming of the fields then shifting the fields to appropriate pages like purchase unit in the purchase tab and then we have the product type which is a major change now if we 
see that there is a track inventory checkbox which is available in the general information it was also not here before it was available in version 17 it was available under the inventory page so here we can see that it was here as a radio button and now we have it like this that it's available under general information page and next if i click on the purchase in the purchase tab the purchase unit is shifted here and if I go back to the general information, you can see that the purchase taxes are here and sale taxes are here. While in the previous version, the purchase taxes were coming as vendor taxes in the purchase tab and sales taxes were coming here as customer taxes. So there are some changes in the product view, but the main change that I see in this whole feature is the product type so these are the basic changes that uh, can be observed in the inventory uh, starting from the view of all the picking types the receipts delivery orders manufacturing and going inside the product page so that's it for this video in the next video we'll move forward and try to see some more changes in the newer 8, Odo 18 version.